We shall begin our class. I hope you got to enjoy the warmer weather today. I couldn't believe it. It was almost 20 degrees, I think, when I checked. Beautiful. It's very exciting. It's warming up. Okay, beginning our class, we'll have, um, we'll lie on our backs. So you can start there. I'll go to my mat. I need to make sure my computer is plugged in here. <laughs> I lost participants yesterday. <laughs> it died on me, but I'm like, I'm back <laughs> a minute later. Okay, there we go. <laughs> And I don't want to be blurry. Welcome everyone to our Hatha Yoga class. My name is Tammy and I'll be guiding you through the next hour. Beginning our class lying on our back so we can work on our pelvic floor muscles, strengthen our pelvic floor muscles, control those bladder leaks, so lying on our backs, come to the side of the body and roll over. Let your knees be bent and your lower back soften in towards the ground that way. Thinking about your breath. I'd like you to send your breath to your pelvic floor muscles. Now your pelvic floor muscles, they wrap around in a circle. And to initiate the pelvic floor muscles, you want to be pulling up like an elevator. So drawing your pelvic floor muscles up towards your belly button, up that way. So inhaling, lifting up through the pelvic floor muscles. Remember, they wrap around in a circle. So you want to draw up, drawing up the elevator. Exhale, breath. Exhale, breath, but don't let the pelvic floor muscles go. Focusing on about a 30% contraction. So let's let the pelvic floor muscles just go. Draw your pelvic floor muscles up as much as possible. So 100%, so pull, pull, pull them up. Hard to breathe. And then exhale, let them go. So let them completely go. Okay, so that's 100% contraction. I'd like you to draw up through the pelvic floor muscles, 100%, and then release them to 50% and then just a little bit more, 30%. Here it's where it's easy to breathe and we hold. Okay, think of also for um, pelvic floor muscles, you're holding your pee. Place your hands, palms down towards the ground. A flowing movement for bridge that will do. See if you can touch your heels, not letting go of the pelvic floor muscles, and draw the pelvis up towards the sky with an inhale breath. Exhale breath, draw your pelvis down. Inhale, draw your pelvis up. And exhale, draw down. Three more times. Continue to look up towards the sky. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, draw down. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, draw down. We'll just do one more here. Let's continue with the focus. And exhale. 
Okay, taking both those knees in towards the chest, give yourself a little squeeze, release the legs so that your ankles, knees, and hips are in line with each other, and your knees are at a 90 degree bend. Alternating heel drops, continue to lift up through the pelvic floor muscles. So dropping the right heel first, and then come up into the left side. Inhale, draw down. Exhale, draw up. Continue to use your breath, initiating the movement for your pelvis and the breath. Draw the navel in towards the spine. One more time on each side, end up evenly. And knees come in to the chest. Take your head off the ground, and it is nose to knee or forehead to the knee, and just squeeze. Nice little curl from the spine. And release, head down towards the ground. Both legs come up towards the side. Bend through the knees again. Take the right knee in towards the chest and the left leg extends straight down to, to the floor. Then lift your heel off the ground about an inch or two and hold, lifting up through the pelvic floor muscles. Draw the navel in and continue to breathe. Take the knee, left knee in towards the chest, nice and slow, controlled, and then extend the right leg out and then place it on the ground. Take the heel off the floor about an inch or two and hold. Continue to draw up to the pelvic floor muscles, draw the navel in, like you're holding your pee to hold strong your core muscles. And take the left right knee in towards the chest, both knees meet. Right foot down, left foot down towards the, towards the ground. Lift your right leg up towards the sky. Into the bridge again. Flowing movement. We draw the pelvis up with an inhale breath. Exhale breath, draw down. Inhale breath, draw up. Exhale, breath, draw down. And release, switching legs into the left side. Okay, draw up and down. Continue to look up towards the sky. One more time. 
and release both knees into the chest. Take both legs up straight, extend the left leg down towards the ground. Both legs straight and lift your head and shoulders, shoulder blades off the floor and hold. Draw the navel in towards the spine. So with all of our pelvic floor movements here, holds, these poses, lots of core strength, relax the shoulders. And slowly release into the other side, switch legs and head and shoulders, shoulder blades may be lifted or down to the ground, relax the shoulders. Continue to hold. And then slowly release, take the knees into the chest, let your head relax down towards the ground. Intentional inhales and exhales, we are looking for. Take your right heel down, left heel down, foot down towards the floor. Coming into a twist, so back to a 90 degree angle at the knees. Place your hands down towards the ground, ground in line with your shoulders. We twist over to the left side first. Nice big inhale breath. Twist over. Exhale breath, come back. Inhale breath, twist over to the right side. Exhale, come back. Two more times on each side. Draw that inhale breath, exhale breath. Down, down, down into the pelvis. And one more time on the other side. Sorry, I should have cued you. Exhale, come back. Knees in towards the chest. Okay, pelvis warmed up, lower back warmed up. Take the right leg in towards the chest and Straighten out your leg, left knee is bent, point, flex your foot. And then switch legs. Right foot down to the ground, knee is bent, left leg comes up nice and straight, point, flex the foot. And hold. Knees into the chest, rolling over to the right side to the fetal. So take your feet down and right arm comes over and roll over to the right side to fetal and make your way up to all fours. Leg through your tail and hold. Sit back into the heels and just that rock movement back and forth. And hold all fours here. Relax your shoulders into cat, into cow. So first with cow and that intentional movement with our inhale and exhale breath. Inhale through the lumbar spine first always and then draw your heart up to the sky. Exhale, big arch through the lumbar spine first. Inhale. To cow, exhale to cat, inhale to cow, exhale to cat, inhale, exhale, 
Good, one more time through. Inhaling to cow. And exhale to cat. And release, sitting back into child's pose and curl the toes, draw the hips, pelvis down towards the heels, arms forward or arms by the side. Now, if you find that that might be too much on your knees, you can lie on the side of your body or lie on your back and just let yourself remain here. Just take a moment. Now, some symptoms could be for pelvic floor dysfunction that you could have some pressure into the pelvis. It may be urinary incontinence, leakage, urinary leakage, lower back pain. So we make your way out child's pose, back to all fours. You can even feel a little bit of constipation there too. So working on different movements and poses to help us, always good for everyone. Step forward with the right hand, step forward with the left hand into downward facing dog. And now downward facing dog is actually really good for prolapse, alternating Knees, let the head hang. It's warms up through our hamstrings still here. And then hold downward facing dog. The head hangs. Spread your fingers out. Bend through the knees. Look towards your hands and then walk the feet forward. Forward fold, let the head hang. A sway side to side. Downward facing dog is good for prolapse. Here is for your organs are set in the right spot with that lift. And hold stillness. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, let the head hang. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, let the head hang. One more time, inhale, come up to halfway lift. Exhale, release, let the head hang. And then inhale, coming all the way up, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart center and into mountain pose. Mountain pose, turn your palms towards the front, close your eyes, lifting up the pelvic floor muscles, draw the navel in and in and we stand tall. Relax the shoulders. Mountain pose, really, really good for helping us to focus with the lift. And we open up our eyes into fierce pose next. Fierce pose, Yukatasana, bringing both of your big toes together. We sit down into, it's also called chair pose. So we're, it's like we're sitting back into a chair, lifting up through the pelvic floor muscles, and then sit back. So squats, always good. Lunges for our pelvic floor muscles, which we always have lots of. And in yoga, lots of different poses that incorporate them. Continue to hold. Continue to lift up, drawing everything in towards the center midline of your body. And 
and slowly make your way up. Okay, ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Let's do a vinyasa flow. Inhale, uh, sun salutation. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Overhead, exhale, dive forward, bend through the knees to help keep that straight flat. Inhale, come up to halfway lift. Continue to focus, lifting up through your pelvic floor muscles, engaging your bandhas. So that's what it is. And then jutting your body forward, take your knees down towards the ground into chaturanga, and then up dog and curl the toes. Squeeze your glutes, pubic bone down, and inhale to up dog. Exhale, release. Do that again two more times. Just a little squeeze down through the glutes. Contract your quadriceps. Exhale, release one more time. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold. Inhale, hold. Exhale to your knees, all fours. Okay. Hold here in tabletop. Relax your shoulders. Right arm lifts and left leg lifts. We hold. And then your thumb, we're holding so that your arm and leg are straight. Toes down towards the ground, thumb up towards the sky. Continue to hold, continue to focus with the lift. Draw the navel in. Drawing up through your anus, drawing up through the pelvic floor muscles. It's always, that's always a good cue for drawing up through your anus. And then slowly release, hand and knee down into the other side, lift, thumb up towards the sky, it's making it easier on your shoulder, Toes down towards the ground, making it stronger. And slowly take hand and knee down into child's pose. Uncurl the toes, sit back into the heels, arms forward. You may also have the knees out to the sides. Slowly release. Okay. Malasana, it's a squat pose, will be our next pose here. Step forward with the right foot. You can, you can actually, let's do it another way. Let's come back into downward facing dog. Sorry about that, it'll be just easier to do it this way. Downward facing dog. And then bend through the knees, look to the hands, walk step, or jump the feet forward. Okay, now, inhale, halfway lift, we'll make our way up. Exhale, release, fold, and then inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, and exhale, hands to the heart center. Okay, let's make our way into our spot, close Malasana, this way. So turning your toes out, step up to the edges of your mat, turn your toes out. It is a squat, so be careful with your knees that your knees are not going over top of your toes, yeah, sitting back into a chair. You can actually sit, have a chair there, and, and touch it too with your, with your bottom. We sit back, and we hold. You can come down a little bit lower down to the ground. And take your elbow, right elbow, left elbow, in towards your inner thigh, and hold. Lifting up, going in. Take your right hand down, left hand down towards the ground, and then coming up, sit back into plank, and holding plank, come down to the forearms. 
You may come down to the knees too and make a ski slope or a full plank and hold. Pulling everything in, draw in, draw in, draw up. And slowly release back to all fours. And step forward with right hand, left hand into downward facing dog. And hold. Exhale breath would be with knees bending and look into your hands, walk step or jump the feet forward. Inhale, come to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, fold, head hangs. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Into warrior two, next pose. So here's our, our lunge. Bend through the knees, step back with the right foot and take the heel down. Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, super arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, lunge forward, looking over your, your middle finger. And take your right arm up and over. We'll make our way down to the ground. So place your hands down to the ground and hold. Come into a twist. Take the left hand onto your hip and then twist your body over to the left side. Taking your head, turn your head back towards the ground, take your hand down. And when then windmill, your right arm, left arm back up, bend with the knees and step right to meet the left. Into the other side, bend through the knees and step left foot right back. Come on, turn so that on the ball of your foot, heel down towards the ground, inhale, Draw your arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, lunge forward. Virabhadrasana. Two, B. Warrior two. Relax through the shoulders. Making our way to the twist. Take the left arm up and over when on your arms and then take them down towards the ground. Hold. Take the right hand onto the right hip. Add a little rotation, a little twist, turning your body towards the right. And slowly release, turn your head and then your hand down to the ground and then middle. Your left right arm up, bend through both knees and step left to meet the right. A little shift through the body. Into wide legged forward fold, bend through the knees, step the right foot back, turn on the ball of the foot and the toes face forward, turning on the left heel and toes face forward. Okay, just move over to the center here. Wide leg, wide legged forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, dive forward, bend the knees enough to help keep the back flat. Take your hands down towards the ground. Place them between your feet. So I should say that your hands and your feet are, are in line with each other. Draw your elbows through your legs. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold. Taking your head as close as possible to the mat. 
Now to get our head a little bit closer to the mat, you may heel, toe your feet out wider and then set yourself up that way. With the inhale breath, coming up, walk your hands forward. Exhale breath, come up to halfway, flat back. Inhale all the way up, step back. Exhale, bend the knees and step in towards the top of your back. Okay, stand at the top of the mat. We've done a lot of poses so far. Making our way down towards the ground. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. You may do a vinyasa flow with me, half of a sun salutation. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, take your hands down to the ground, sit back the right foot. The left foot into plank, turn around up, lower yourself to the ground. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, walk step or jump. Your feet forward. Extend your legs straight out in front. Remove the plant fleshy part from your bottom. Now, just like in Tadasana, when we were standing tall, sitting tall here, place your hands down towards the ground. Lift up through your pelvic floor muscles. So you might want to make sure that the fleshy part from your, your bottom is just out to the side so you can be on your six bones. Close your eyes. A little tuck of the chin into the chest. Toes up towards the sky. Open up your eyes. Bend through the knees, roll over to your tummy and belly. Working out through our belly here. So this is so nice to do, lying on your belly and just going, doing a little movement forward and back, a little massage for our belly, get things moving and then hold. Let the right cheek rest on your mat. In for Shavasana on your tummy, arms by the sides. Shavasana on your belly. It's prone. That intentional breath. So really feel how your belly rises and falls. Breathing into the back, breathing into the sides of your upper body. And then turning your head back towards the front into locust next. You may rest your chin and then lift your head up, lift your arms, lift your legs up. Keep, continue to lift up through the pelvic floor muscles, draw the navel in, lengthen out to low hips, continue to lift, lift, lengthen through your spine, think of elongating to the crown of the head, and then slowly release, let the left cheek rest onto your mat, thin prone, Shavasana. Intentional breath. Breathing into the back. Breathing into underneath your armpits.
into half bow, next pose. Turn your head so your chin's down to the ground and then take the left arm up. Let the forehead rest onto your forearm, left forearm. Bend through the right knee, hold on to the right ankle. You may hold on to your pant leg too if you have pants on. And into half bow, pelvic tilt, push your pelvis, push your pelvic down, pelvis, the right side of the pelvis down into the ground. So pelvic tilt. Pushing down. If this pose does not work for your knees, you may lie on the side of the body too. That's another way to actually grab onto that ankle and help it tilt this way too. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to hold onto the ankle when you're on your belly. So lie on the side. Maybe a little bit uh, more accessible. We slowly release and let the right cheek rest on the ground. Shavasana again, prone. Turn your head back to the center. Right arm comes up. Let the forehead rest. When you come into half bow, you can roll over to the side of the body too. This time we hold onto the left ankle. Pelvic tilt to that left side, pressing down and you may let the forehead rest. Kicking your foot away, pelvic tilt. Continue to hold. Slowly release. Let the left cheek crest find that. And slowly release and roll over to the side of the body and roll over to your back. Just like before, take the knees into the chest. We now make our way to happy baby. Turn the knees out to the sides. To our armpits, you may hold onto you underneath your knees here and let the legs hang. You can hold onto your ankles. You may hold onto the outside edges of your feet or your big toes with your peace fingers. A little side to side rocking movement you may add. Then finding stillness when your body settles into the ground. Notice your breath. Hearing your breath opening up. Drawing your breath down, down, down into the pelvis. Slowly release, take the knees into the chest. Take your right foot down, left foot down. Reclined butterfly, turn your knees out to the side, bottom of your feet together. I like to have my hands underneath of my 
my legs here for a little bit of support. You may also use cushions underneath the knees for support. And then we'll let yourself go. Small open to the sides. Taking the knees back towards the center, towards the sky, knees pointing up. Okay, ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Place your hands onto your pelvis. Drawing your breath down into your pelvis, I would like you to feel the rise and the fall. As you continue to lift up through your pelvic floor muscles. Next pose is the twist. Take both knees in towards, in towards your chest and bring your legs up and over to the left side, arms in line with your shoulders, turn the head the opposite way of your legs. Your body relaxes, but continue to engage your bandhas. Continue to be present with your breath. Turn your head back towards the center. Legs come back towards the center. Legs come up and over to the right side now. Arms again in line with the shoulders. Turn your head the opposite way of your legs. Close your eyes. It comes back to the center. Legs come back towards the center, pulling back in the shape a little bit with the pelvis. Take the right foot down, left foot down towards the ground. Okay, palms down by the sides, arms by the sides. Take the right leg up towards the sky. Inhale, flex your foot and draw the heel down towards the ground. Point your toes and then draw up. Inhale, draw down. Exhale, draw up. Point your toes. Inhale, draw down. Exhale, draw up. Two more times. We're doing the inhale breath coming down because the inhale breath is always for support of your spine. So when you take that leg away from your body, you want support from the spine and release. Bend through the knee and take your right foot down. Okay, left leg comes up. Okay, inhale breath, flex your foot and make your way down. Ex exhale, come up. Inhale, come down, flex. Point your toes, exhale up. 
Inhale down, flex. Point your toes, exhale, up. Two more times. One more. Bend in the knee. Take your knees into the chest for one more time. One little squeeze. Doing whatever other movement, or maybe it's a pose that you would like to do for yourself. Just a little walking back and forth. Massage the spine. Take your right foot down, left foot down to the ground. If it's not already better, knees bent. Take the arms in line with the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen through your spine and exhale. Give yourself a big hug. Inhale, open. Exhale, give yourself a big hug the other way. Our final pose, Shavasana. We'll be in Shavasana for a good 10 minutes. So take your time to get into Shavasana. If you would like to put place a blanket on your body, please do so. Maybe you want socks on. If you have any props around you that your body would be touching, just moving, moving them over to the sides. So taking your time, getting ready for Shavasana. You may have your knees bent, you can have a towel rolled underneath your knees too for support. You align your back. You may be in. Have your legs up and down. In Shavasana. We close our eyes. Our breath softens. A natural breath. Our breath slows. Starting from the top, working our way down. Your eyes closed. Your eyes feel heavy. Your cheeks soften. Your lips part. Your neck muscles relax. Your shoulders let go. Your arms feel heavy. And they melt. Chest softens. Lower back, let's go. Squeezing your glutes. Your pelvis softens. Release. Your legs feel heavy, they melt, let go. We'll be here for a few more minutes. I will call you back when it is time.
slowly coming back. Noticing sounds around you. So smells. Body sink into the surface. It's lying on or sitting on. some warmth coming from the center of your body and letting it spread out to your limbs, letting that warmth surround you. If you're lying on your back, Wiggle your toes. If you're sitting, you may wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. A little shift through the body. Gently making your way to fetal if, you're, if you are lying on your back. Through the knees and taking the right arm overhead and rolling over to your right side. Take a moment and make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Hands are to your heart center, drawing everything in. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing your practice with me. Namaste.